I'm the king of the jungle and my word is law And I rule my kingdom with an iron paw From the mountain top to the shining sea There ain't no animal as great as me When the monkey's sleeping in the cocoa tree I can see all the creatures when they can't see me Even hippopotami and wild boys They all pay attention when the lion boys I'm king of the jungle And I get the lion's share It must be cause I'm beautiful Or maybe it's my hair Oh yeah, I'm king of the jungle And the only one was fair Just get out of my way when I do my thing By the way, I tell you I'm the jungle king Well, the old gray elephant is big and strong The giraffe is taller cause his neck is long And there's no one smarter than the chimpanzee But the whole wide world is afraid of me I'm king of the jungle And I get the lion's share It must be cause I'm beautiful Or maybe it's my hair Oh yeah, I'm king of the jungle And the only one was fair Just get out of my way when I do my thing By the way, did I mention I'm the jungle king? I just love this job Troops are ready for inspection, Your Majesty. Don't rush me, Glump. Me, sir? Oh, no, sir, Your Highness. Oh, you're wrong, sir. I wasn't rushing you. No, no. And don't contradict me. Oh, no, sir, wrong again. I wasn't contradicting you. I mean, you're right, I was, but I won't. Never again, uh, unless you want me to. Oh, Glump, you clumsy ape, sir. Clumsy ape, that's me. I'm all thumbs. Oh, you are to execute me, sir, or fire me. No, execute me, then fire me. I almost broke this picture of you and your brother. Give me that gun. How many times have I told you? I have no brother. Oh, sure you do, Majesty. You remember Erwin, your own twin. Are you contradicting again? Right, no brother, only child. That's you. It was Erwin who abandoned the family, you recall. It was he who chose to stop speaking to me. I haven't seen him since we were seven years old. Now he spends his time with his precious birds. Yuck! He's no brother of mine. And you'll never mention his name again, will you, Glump? No, sir, not me. Uh-uh, never. If you do, I'll fire you, execute you, and... Hmm. Then fire you again! Oh, shh, no problem. Don't worry. These lips are never going to utter a single solitary word about, uh... What was his name? Good man, Club. <sighs> oh, Erwin. Why did I turn out so well while you ended up so... you? Come back, Daphne. I'm not finished. These things take time, you know. And as much as I like drawing you, Daphne, my illustrated compendium of bird life will contain 4,000 species, which leaves me 3,999 to go. Yes, I should learn to work faster, but that means I'd finish sooner. And then what will I do? Hmm. So perhaps I should work slower. Oh, life. So many decisions to make. So very many decisions. I look best in red when I'm banishing citizens to exile, while blue goes well with pronouncing prison sentences. Blue, I suppose, it sets off my eyes. Make way for the king! Make way for the king! Nice chicken. You parrot. <laughs> chicken. We could fry you and find out. <laughs> Bless you. Gesundheit. What, what are those flowers? Orchids, your highness. Ugh. 
Is this Thursday? Indeed, it is. Then how come all the calendars say Tuesday? Quiet, chicken. <laughs> On Thursdays, I am allergic to orchids. <laughs> yes, a loathsome species anyway. I wish never to see another one. Ordinance 12,746. All orchids to be removed from the country. Perhaps we could replace them with begonias. <laughs> Petunias. Gesundheit. Petunias. Ah. Excellent choice. Oh, what a handsome beast. There should be a law against anyone looking so good. There is, sire. Ordinance 8,492. No one shall look as good as the king. Why, this thing's too small. There's more me than mirror. Oh, dreadful oversight on my part. I should have ordered larger mirrors. <laughs> Out of them. Consider it done. You muscle bound nitwit. Ah! Nitwit, <laughs> nitwit. What? <laughs> he was referring to me, Majesty, about my failure to coordinate the mirror width with your chest size. Hmm, yes, well, don't be too hard on him. Everyone makes mistakes, except me. Why do you insist on repeating my words at the most inopportune times? <laughs> hey, I'm a parrot. I repeat things. You don't like it? Get a goldfish. <sighs> Look at them, Majesty, the pride of the kingdom. There's no army like it in the world. On that point, I would have to agree. <laughs> hmm. Should I have my knuckles waxed? Hey, hey, tighten up that line! You, the elephant, fall back! Your water buffalo, pick up the pace now! I mean, I have beautiful hair. Uh, I just don't know if I need it on my knuckles. <laughs> What's all the racket? I can't hear myself think about myself. Oh, it's my fault, Your Majesty. They're angry because I don't let them see enough of you. <laughs> it's all right, good subjects. You'll see more of me. <laughs> Look at that. They give you the food from their mouths. Oh, they do love me, don't they? Get away with such insolence when this kingdom is mine. Heads off! Incoming! Whoa. <laughs> Missed! You peons couldn't hit the broad side of us! A pitiful, useless rabble. Let them go undisciplined and look what becomes of them. He's too easy on them. A mistake I shall not make. <laughs> I'll teach them respect. It will not be pleasant for them, but they will learn. I... Tomato, it's always rotten tomato. They never throw anything nice like, like, Andive or Radicchio. No, they'll not throw tomatoes at me. You say tomato, I say tomato. I say, people, let's knock it off, eh? Ah, Leonette. Uh, who? Who are we talking about? Oh, her. Pfft. What's so special about her? I do not like your tone, bird. When I am king, she will be my queen. Oh, listen to them, boo. They can't get enough of me. Hello, citizen. Thank you. Oh, hi, you. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Hello, hello. Oh, and you, you too. <laughs> oh, and oh, oh. Who, who is that creature? Which majesty? Her? Her. Ah, 
her. I don't know, Your Highness. I've never seen her before. Obviously a tourist, a visitor, just passing through. Ah, Leonette. She's the Chancellor's queen and... Leonette. What do I have scheduled for Saturday? Saturday? Um... 9 to 10, hairstylist. 10 to 11, manicure and pedicure. 12 to 1, tanning session. 1 to 3, at gym with personal trainer. 4 to 4.15, meet with cabinet so you can fire them all. Cancel the cabinet meeting. I'm getting married. And who is the lucky girl? Annette. Leonette. What he said. I see. And is she to be notified in advance, or will you marry her first and then tell her? Go tell her, Glump. Oh, right away. <sighs> Ain't love grand. It makes the world go round. There's King Maximilian. Wave so he sees you, Leonette. Wave! Wave! Mother, please. You! Your kingship! Over here! Hey, hello, Your Majesty. We're with you, dude. Yeah, keep up the good work. I love the king. Long live King Maximilian. <gasps> Did you hear what she said? Lincho, string her up! Make her leave the city! Drive the old bag out of town! Tar and feather her! Ride her out of town on a rail! Throw the old lion into the river! Excuse me, Miss Leonette, but the king up there, he'd like to marry you, if you don't mind. Ha! Oh, that was a yes. How's this Thursday sound? We could make it tomorrow if that's not good for the king. Uh, he was thinking Saturday. Saturday? Oh, how romantic. I always dreamed my daughter would get married on a Saturday. <laughs> A.M. or P.M. Mother, I wouldn't marry him if he were the last lion on Earth. Prenuptial jitters. Everybody gets them. Perfectly natural. I meant every word. Now, honey, don't talk that way. Why wouldn't a nice girl like you want to marry a nice king like him so your family could move into a nice palace and enjoy a nice life for once? For one thing, I don't love him. For another, I detest, despise, loathe, and abhor him. That's no reason not to marry him. Of course not. Love comes later, doesn't it, Leroy? That's what I hear. It's possible. I know I'm still waiting. I will marry only for love. I have managed to retain a few principles. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, like, principles are cool, but uh, they don't put food on the table, you know what I mean? General Glump, you may tell the king I will not marry him Thursday, Saturday, or any other day in my lifetime. Oh, she's just a little overwhelmed. You know, young girls. She'll come around. Tell the king we'll see him Saturday. Bye now. Until then, <laughs> we'll bring the rice. The idiot. I have to rearrange all my plans just because he wants to get married. <sighs> I hate to be rushed. <sighs> I'm not as young as I used to be. And that headwind, like you wouldn't believe. Yes, yes, fascinating. I'll raise your salary. Now, is it done? Well, it's like this. Hold on, you don't pay me a salary. And you have the nerve to ask me for a raise. Now answer my question. Has everything been arranged? Oh, would I fail you, oh evil one? Would I let you down, master of mayhem? Would I... I want answers, Ricardo! The zoo hunters will be at the king's bathing pond tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. They will meet the way a senor and senorita meet with their eyes on a crowded dance floor. King Maximilian's capture is the first step to my taking the throne. And of course you won't forget your friend Ricardo. I don't expect much, you understand. Maybe a nice cushy job in the State Department, something where I won't have to work and... Hey, where are you going? To see Emperor Raj, there are still minor arrangements to be made. <laughs> Whew. No matter how many times I hear that man's laugh, it still gives me the willies. <laughs> What's 
wrong, Chancellor? Not nervous, are you? A hyena among all these tigers? Ha! Uh, no, 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 Rosh. Not in the least. You know what we tigers like to call hyenas? Ah, uh, what would that be? Lunch! <laughs> but enough pleasantries. What is it you want from me, Chancellor? Oh, no, 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 Emperor Raj. I come to offer you something. Better not be another bridge. I keep writing letters to Brooklyn telling him to send it, but no reply. No, this is even better. I have a plan to take the throne from Maximilian, but there may be trouble from General Glump and his soldiers. Soldiers? Ten of my tigers could handle his entire army. Which is why I am here. Your kingdom, magnificent as it is, is not quite as expansive as Maximilian's. But the girls over here, va va voom, an oceanfront property, we got miles of it. As soon as we get an ocean, if I could count on you to help to neutralize Glump's troops when I assume the throne, a portion of the territories might be ceded to you in thanks. Not a bad proposition. You look, General, it's a lot closer to the ocean. But perhaps Emperor Raj's share could extend to, say, here. Aha! Uh -huh. That could work. Waking up! Mm, I'm, I'm going back to sleep. No, 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 I don't want to get up. Ah, but you must, Your Majesty. This is Friday. It's the day before your wedding. You'll want to choose the flowers. Be fitted for your wedding dance. Send invitations. Pick the appetizers. <laughs> You'll want to bathe so you can be fresh and clean as you plan your new life with Leonette. Uh, yes, 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 of course. <laughs> My last morning of playing nursemaid. Uh, I must remember to change the sheets. Oh, four monkeys and one mongoose. Haven't we got enough to make the zoo happy, Everett? Morgan, if this is all we catch after three months in the jungle, we can kiss our jobs goodbye. Da 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 We're going to catch that parrot if we have to chase him all over the continent. Oh, this isn't worth it, Everett. Not for one lousy parrot. <sighs> look, look, Morgan. It's the parrot. Shh, you're making too much noise. I'm close enough to the king that an idiot should be able to find him. He'll hear you. Keep low. Come back here, I say. You've got to come back. Take it easy, Everett. Get a grip on yourself, man. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> Take some men back to the camp. Get the lion cage! <laughs> I think they can handle it from here. <laughs> oh, gosh, I love being the Jungle King. Oh! <laughs> We've got him! We've got him! Uh, a 
you obviously don't know who I am. Uh, I happen to be King Maximilian III. You know him. Uh, descendant of Maximilian II? <laughs> him, you know, descendant of Maximilian I? Uh, you fellows aren't from around here, are you? What are you waiting for? The king is out of the picture. Make your move! How many times have I told you to keep your voice down? <laughs> How many times have I told you not to repeat my plans? <laughs> what good are you to me, Ricardo? Go on. Tell me. Tell me what good you are to me. Well, I... I I'm the... You're the what, Ricardo? The best dance teacher you ever had. <laughs> You are a good dance teacher. I'll take the throne at the right moment. First, I want to see how that boo glum takes the news that King Maximilian is missing. Maybe I am a boob for not having guessed the Chancellor was behind the King's disappearance. But I'm not going to stand by and watch while he takes over the throne. <coughs> Excuse me. I know, Daphne, I know. I love you, too. But unless you get a little distance between us, I'm not going to be able to paint you. Owen! Owen! No, Daphne! Owen! Where are you? Owen! Oh, thank goodness I found you! <sighs> it's me, Glum! What's the matter? Don't you remember me? <sighs> yeah, yes, yes, Glump, of course. Oh, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> oh, you haven't either. Or oh, still the spitting image of your brother, Max. Uh, well, maybe not spitting image, but you'll do. <sighs> what are you talking about, Glump? Erwin, your brother needs you. He sent you to tell me that? Not exactly. I thought not. Please, Erwin. Glump, I'm happy here, painting birds. Hmm, where did I put my brush? I'm talking about your brother, Erwin. Your brother who punched out the rhino that tried to steal your lunch in fifth grade? Ah, here it is. Your brother who, who single-handedly fought off three panthers that... All right. What do you want me to do? Maximilian's been kidnapped. You have to pretend to be him and prevent a coup until I can find him and bring him back. The entire kingdom needs you, Erwin. If you don't help us, darkness and despair will drop down like an avenging cloak when Chancellor takes the throne. Children will become orphans. Widows will starve. Pestilence will sweep over the land and... Glump, no one's going to believe I'm Max. Trust me. By the time I'm through, you won't be able to tell you from Max or Max from you. You just can't ignore a royal marriage proposal, Lynette. Tell her, Leroy. Yes, dear. Father, do you want me to marry someone I don't love? Of course not, Leonette. I want you to follow your heart. I want you to... Uh, uh, could someone pass the salt? Uh, delicious soup, dear. If Leonette won't marry the king, I will. So go to the palace tomorrow. Talk to him. You'll find he's a nice boy. Oh, I'll go, Mother. But only to give him a piece of my mind. That child. So contrary. She gets it from you. Yes, dear. I'm going to show you how to act like a king, eat like a king, walk like a king, talk like a king, and whistle like a king. Whistle? Sorry, I got carried away. When you start on a job that you never did before, like running a kingdom or going off to war, You've got to look strong, even though you're feeling shy. Keep your feet on the ground and your head up high. 
when you lead a parade, try to walk with royal grace, or else you could stumble and fall upon your face. You've got to stand up when they try to get you down. Keep your head up high and your feet on the ground. Remember this rule, you can still do anything. If they say you are fool, but you know you're a king. <laughs> All the kingdom will cheer when you smile at them and wave. They'll think you are hero, you're fearless and you're brave. You have to believe you can reach up to the sky. Keep your nose in the air, keep your crown on your head. Keep your feet on the ground and your head up high. <laughs> this is turning out better than I had hoped. Not only is Maximilian out of the way, but now Glump is nowhere to be found. Will we ever recover from the loss? <laughs> <laughs> this is where we say goodnight, Ricardo. That's the king's bedroom. I thought I'd try it on for size. Of course, your majesty. Majesty. I do love the sound of that. I think I'll enjoy being King Maximilian. Of course it's King Maximilian. Uh, this is King Maximilian's palace, and this is King Maximilian's bedroom. Who did you expect but King Maximilian? But you're supposed to be... Supposed to be what, Chancellor? I don't understand. What is it you don't understand? I... I... What I don't understand is why you're bothering me at this hour of the night. I, I... Get a vocabulary, man. Is it over? It's over. How'd I do? You did great. I did great? Great. Great. <sighs> Good evening, my useless, incompetent, brainless little friend. Who are you calling little? I gave you one task, to lead the hunters to Maximilian, and it was too much for you. What are you talking about? I saw them with... No excuses. You failed me, Bird. The idiot king is right there in that room, in all his glorious, thick-headed denseness. But I know they... Quiet! Thanks to you, I'll have to take more... drastic steps. <laughs> With. I mean, Max, you got a lot of kinging to do. Your Majesty. Yes, Chancellor? You have a visitor. Miss Leonette is downstairs. Max was going to marry her today. I'm going to marry her today. Right? Yes, Your Majesty, I'm aware of that. Oh, of course you are. You're Chancellor. You're supposed to know everything. I, I was just testing you. Uh, uh, now leave me alone. I want to get dressed. Uh, tell Lynette I'll be right there. Leonette. Yeah, her too. The Closet Highness. Yes, another test. <laughs> You're doing very well. The door to your dressing room is over there. Uh, yes! <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> yes, well, uh, there may be a raise in your future. What an ego! Your Majesty. She's beautiful. Shoulders back, chest out. Uh, <clears throat> uh, my, 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 my. <laughs> you have made your king happy by accepting his invitation to visit the palace. You didn't invite me. It was my idea to come. Uh, uh, of, uh, of course. Uh, what am I thinking? I, I get confused uh, being king, which I am. Uh, I have a lot on my mind. Very stressful being a king, <clears throat> like me. Uh, you know, uh, so many decisions, like, uh, uh, which country to overrun, <laughs> who to behead, and that kind of, uh, king stuff. Behead? Uh, well, uh, you know, we use, uh, a dull axe. It's, uh, less painful that way. Hmm. Uh, actually, we don't really behead them anymore. We just send them to a barber for a trim, uh, uh me, uh, personally, I, I, I detest violence. You won't impress me with lies. Glump, she's wonderful. She is that? 
I can see this was a mistake. I'm sure the great King Maximilian has no interest in what I had to say. Uh, maybe he doesn't, but, uh, but I do. What do you mean? You are King Maximilian. <laughs> yes, yes, of course I am. Uh, uh, what I mean is, uh, there are two King Maximilian. I, 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 I mean, there's, there's the King Maximilian, who's the king and the warrior and does all that king and warrior stuff, and, and then there's the real Maximilian, who's just a normal lion who happens to be King Maximilian. I haven't any idea what you're talking about. That makes two of us. Uh, well, uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, is... Will you please stay for breakfast? Oh, oh, no, no, don't cover your smile. A, a thing of beauty should never be hidden. You're not at all what I thought you'd be. Oh, that's wonderful, uh, isn't it? Uh, I, I mean, you probably thought I was mean and selfish, and since I'm not what you thought, I must be something else, right? I'll tell the kitchen we have a guest for breakfast. That lion will make us both famous. We came for snakes and monkeys, and look what we're bringing back. <laughs> the jungle king himself. Ooh, there's a pretty roar. You don't often hear roars like that. In fact, the only lion I know who can roar a roar that good is... <gasps> King Maximilian! What's he doing out here when he's back there? I must be seeing things. Oh, King Maximilian, he's got a lot of nerve coming here. And without any guards. Hi, everyone. How you doing? Oh, my. It's the king. I'm not interested. You are interested. Please, Quincy, don't. Don't tell me don't. I've been waiting years to tell him off. Daddy. Hello there, old timer. Nice to see you. I'd sooner shake hands with a python. What's the matter? I'll tell you what, and I'll tell you face to face. I haven't had any work in ten years. My family's hungry. Now, how come a tough mouse like you can't get any work? You made it a law. My mice aren't allowed to work. I did? Well, that's a pretty stupid law. I'll change it. And another thing, you big pompous windbag. I, what did you say? I changed the law. Mice can work whenever they want. Anyone can work whenever they want. Did you hear that, Leonette? That's the kindest thing he's ever done. But, but why is he doing it? Why don't you report to General Glump at the palace tomorrow? I'm sure he can use a tough mouse like you. Do you mean it, Your Highness? Well, of course I do. If you can forgive a stupid lion for making a stupid law. Oh, Mama! Daddy's going to be able to work! I know, honey. Quincy, what's wrong? Ten years I waited to tell that guy off, and what happens? He does something nice. It's very unsatisfying. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry, Your Highness. I... I didn't mean to sneeze. I... I... I couldn't help it. Now we'll see the real Maximilian. He'll never let her get away with breaking that law. It... it... it, it just came out. My nose started itching and... Oh, no. I know it's forbidden for anyone to sneeze on market day. It offends you. Please. Please, don't arrest me. You gotta be kidding. There's a law against sneezing? But, but, Your Highness, it, it's your own law. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. 
Listen, everyone. You can sneeze whenever you want, and you can cough and burp if you want to. Uh, but you should excuse yourself if you burp. That's only polite. This isn't ripe. Here, let me show you how to pick out a good avocado. <laughs> what is it? What's going on? Oh, oh, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, don't you know? <laughs> no. What is it? They... they like you, Your Majesty. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Please don't kneel. Kneeling's bad. Uh, let's cut the kneeling. Um, I want to know about every stupid law we have so I can get rid of them. I want you all to be happy. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Well, don't. Have I got an earful for you? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. There was no way that Goody Four Paws could be Maximilian. Then who is he? Who cares who he is? All that matters is that he isn't King Maximilian. All you have to do is expose him as a fake and take over the throne. No. Everyone likes this faker. If I overthrow him, they might fight back. They might support him. No, this calls for a change of plans. Something a bit more sinister and a bit more permanent. You shouldn't have gone to all this trouble, Your Majesty. Violins? An eight-course dinner? Crepe Suzette for dessert? <laughs> you call this trouble? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but I call it a miracle. I apologize for those things I said this morning, Your Majesty. How about calling me Erwin? Uh, uh, Max. Max. I know we have certain political differences, but still, it's a lovely sight. Young love, it cannot help but stir my soul. <sighs> Beautiful. <laughs> I see two lovers and a kiss. Nothing quite romantic or like this. And I know that soon they'll be a bride and groom. I go boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom. When the world around me is in love, and the birds are singing up above, and the bees are buzzing and the flowers bloom, I go boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom. When I think of love, I want to do the cha-cha with my favorite sweet muchacha. I could jump around this like a cucuracha. I could stumble around the block. I could rock around the clock. I could even tickle, 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 tuck. Okay. When I dance the rumba on the floor, there is nothing else that I adore. When the jungle air is full of sweet perfume, I go boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom. I go boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom. When I think of love, I want to do the cha-cha With my favorite sweet muchacha I could jump around just like a cucaracha I could stumble around the block I could rock around the clock I could even tickle, 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 talk When I dance the rumba on the floor There is nothing else that I adore When the jungle air is full of sweet perfume I go boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom I go boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom Chicky, boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom, chicky, boom Olé! Max? Max? I don't know how I could have been so wrong about you. You're the kindest, gentlest, most honest lion I've ever known. Honest? Yeah. Leonette, there's something I have to tell you about me. Something I should have told you from the start. What is it, Max? Well, it's, it's about... Daphne! There's a note tied to her leg. Dear Owen, your brother's been captured by hunters. I'll try to free him. I think Raj may attack the city. You must hold out until I return with Max. Sincerely, Glump. Erwin? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's a code name. Your brother, Max? Uh, yeah, it, it's an old trick, uh, to confuse the enemy. You're not the king, are you? I was about to tell you. It's been a lie, right from the start. Listen, Leonette. This wasn't my... You're worse than King Maximilian. At least he is what he is. You're just a fake. Oh, Leonette, don't go. Serves me right for trusting you. I never want to see you again, whoever you are. Now is the time to strike Great Emperor. 
this pretender to the throne doesn't have King Maximilian's courage. He'll flee if the tigers attack. General Glump is not in the city? The army has no leader. I offer you a full three quarters of the kingdom, magnificent one. Hmm. We have a bargain. Return to the city. Excellent. Send for my armor and prepare my troops to march. And when we reach the city, I want Chancellor to be the first to fall. I never trust a traitor. No, no, no! You're supposed to be getting into position to defend the city, not knock it down! Oh, whose side are you guys on, anyway? <laughs> If you married the king, we'd be safe in the palace now. I keep telling you, he's not the king. He's someone named Erwin. Well, I hope he can lead the army the way King Maximilian could. Say what you want about him, but that was one lion who knew how to fight. Oh, yes, I say. Oh, yes, quite right. Oh, do tell the court. Um, yes, dear. Of course, dear. Oh, whatever you say. Good night, dear. <laughs> and so, this is how the once mighty Jungle King ends his days. A prisoner, soon to be exhibited for the amusement of all. Something tells me you'd be happier back on your throne. Glum, I hope you've had plenty of rest, because we've got lots of ground to cover. Emperor Raj's tiger troops are marching on the city. But if you're here, who's in charge of the army? Attack! Take no prisoner. Okay, how to wage war in 20 easy lessons. Chapter one, have an army. Oh. you fools, you're wrecking my city. Your city? Of course. I didn't mean to say my. I meant to say... I wouldn't worry about a chancellor. Soon you'll be decorating a wall in Emperor Raj's trophy room. No, no. We had a deal. <laughs> Come back. Back, you fools. Come. We have a city to conquer. We have to save ourselves! Boy, you just can't trust anyone nowadays. Um. <gasps> Chancellor! You're coming with me. Anyone tries to stop me and the fur is gonna fly. Okay, in enemy column, attacks flank B at figure 2C. Refer to diagram 38 in chapter 4. Oh. Are you all going to stay in your houses like cowards while our king fights alone? He's changed his ways. Don't we owe him something in return? You're right. King Maximilian was trying to change. He's done away with the old laws. He said he wanted us to be happy. We should help him. I say we fight with him! Can these be my subjects? But why does it surprise you, Highness? I'm not a fool, Glump. I chose to believe they loved me, but I knew the truth. Who could love a ruler like me? I'm nothing but a vain, stupid old... Vain? Why would you call yourself vain? Just because you spend most of your waking hours in front of a mirror? <laughs> and stupid! Just because you never saw how miserable you were making everybody! I mean... <laughs> Glum, don't lose your head. And if you keep this up, you will lose your head. Uh, uh, how to make a white flag? We're with you, your majesty. You are? We are. City. I'll save Leonette. Lead us, 
Sawyer. Yes. Thank you. Max? Irwin. Irwin? Max! Max. Irwin. Easy now, Max. Or Irwin. Max. Irwin, Max. Troops. Uh, yo, troops. Uh, uh, protect your emperor. Ha ha ha. Hello, troops. Retreat. Retreat! That's far enough. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's King Maximilian come to rescue Fair Leonette. No, it's Irwin. Your history, Irwin! How dare you attack me and my family? How dare you! Okay, Leonette, okay, I get the point. You don't have to beat it into the ground. Erwin, I didn't think you could fight like that. Yeah, well, uh, he shouldn't have insulted your mother. And so, for extreme bravery in the face of the enemy, and for showing me how to be a real king, and for helping save this royal city, I am proud to give you the Imperial Order of the Lionheart. <laughs> You're sure you won't stay here and rule with me? We could share the throne. You... you don't need me, Max. But what will you do? We're going back to the jungle. With Leonette's help, I'll have the illustrated compendium of bird life finished in no time. I almost forgot. Where's Daphne? Daphne? Oh, Daphne? Ah, uh, yes, my sweet. Love is in the air. I'm king of the jungle, and I get the lion's share. It must be because I'm beautiful, or maybe it's my hair. Oh, yeah, I'm king of the jungle, and the only one was fair. Just get out of my way when I do my thing. By the way, did I tell you I'm the jungle king? Well, the old gray elephant is big and strong. The giraffe is taller because his neck is long. And there's no one smarter than the chimpanzee. But the whole wide world is afraid of me. I'm king of the jungle, and I get the lion's share. It must be because I'm beautiful, or maybe it's my hair. Oh, yeah, I'm king of the jungle, and the only one was fair. Just get out of my way when I do my thing. By the way, did I mention I'm the jungle king? I just love this job. Yeah.